So let's first see the installation. So you should type cyberbotics on Google and if you go to first link it will open cyberbotics page and you select windows here. Once you select windows it will start downloading and once the executable is downloaded you can go to that folder so show folder now we double click on the setup yeah, install now to spawn the setup click on next next again next so it should start installing it will take some time so once it gets installed if i click finish it will launch vbot for me so if you see here this is a startup page we select classic and we click next so it spawns vbot this is the first and default world where you have spot robot on the left side you see different objects assigned there so that is used to make world these are the camera views of the robot so you can even implement your computer vision pipeline in this software and on the right this is what the spot is doing and this is pretty much the controller of robot so you see here there are different functions and this is an implementation in c++ and finally note that there is a while loop where there are different functions what robot is doing so now let's see an another example so you see here this is a maverick drone if i let's close this so now the drone is flying so now let's start with a new project so if you see here there is a tab named wizards if you click on the tab you can select either a new project you can also make a controller here which we will see later so we for now we click on new project directory next and you can choose where you want to save the project in my case we will save it in first project i select i click next Remember, initially, if it is your first project, we will add a rectangular arena. We will soon see the arena. And let's name our world as Garden. So you see here, VBots is going to make bunch of files so when I click on finish, it will generate a new world. And if you remember, we selected that we want a rectangular arena. So this is our basic rectangular arena. Today, we are going to make a scene of a garden. So for that case, these are the fields which we can change. So for now, we will make this floor bigger so if i click here let's make it 10 meter by 10 meter so we have a big floor here which is apt for our garden also we select floor appearance it is checkers let's give a sandy feel to our garden so we can select light strip so this is a base of our garden 
and if you want to add something like any object or robots you can click on any one of these and there is a plus sign here when you click on add this window will pop up so here we have some things like base node for now vbots has done an extensive research and has a big library of objects which are available in vbot projects so if i click on this drop down we will go to objects and we will go to garden so for garden first of all we will add a slide so if i click on ok see they added a slide for us and these are x y z axis and its rotation respectively in order to move the object similarly we will also add some other things in our garden like we can add a swing swing there you go so we'll keep a swing here so it is pretty easy to make a world in vbots which is usually not the case in many simulators and similarly we will add many other things and finish our world So you see here everything is in a correct aspect ratio if you can rotate the human being as well so let's rotate the guy we will also add one more human being so if i click on any object if i hit ctrl c ctrl v it duplicates and if i drag it here you see same human being is made so now they are talking but the thing missing here is if you want to change dress of a human being we can go to shirt color make this human being's color shirt color as red so you see here and we can also change pant color yeah so you see here there are very few properties of objects which can be changed so in this case for pedestrian we can change its location its shirt color pant color shoes his skin color etc this is how you can make your pretty world with static objects so now our world looks cool but we are missing robots here so there are extensively many robots and many controllers already available in vbots so when we click on add and here when we click on robots we see bunch of robots so now we will choose boston dynamics spot so the robot is not just added there are different sensors inside robot which can be mimicked by vbots so you see in this scene when we got the spot robot it also came with two camera views so here it is looking from right camera view to the humans and left camera view is looking here 
So this simulator can be used for many computer vision pipelines where you can process this image and get necessary information out of it. On the other hand, we will also add one more robot which is pretty common and which is found in many households. It is Roomba from iRobot. Here its name is different. Its name is create here. But it does pretty much similar things. So you see here, as soon as robot was spawned, it, st it started moving. This is because there is an inbuilt controller designed inside the robot. So if you want to have a look at what code is running inside the robot or if you wish to change the code of your robot, you can do it. So you can go to your robot or you can do a right click and do edit controller. So we get a code which is running inside the Roomba robot. If you see here, this is written in C++ where there are many definitions. If you are new to VBots, you will feel this a bit new. But believe me, if you start doing one or two projects, this will all make sense where you use such functions to get devices inside your robot. Like you can have LEDs, you can have servo motors, you can have different distance sensors. So you see here, there is a left wheel motor and right wheel motor inside the robot. The object of which is being made as left motor and right motor. If you feel these things are new, it's okay. You can go through some examples and some codes. It will make sense. So today we will look at main function of this controller where you have a while loop which continuously spins. So pretty much what this while loop does is it looks on the left. If it doesn't see an obstacle, it looks on the right. If it doesn't see an obstacle, it will go straight. On the other hand, if it sees an obstacle on the left or the right, it goes back for a particular instance of half second and turns by a random number. This is a pretty random algorithm where if you have some knowledge about path planning, you will know that random algorithm in this case will give a good solution and will not stick in a local minima. So this was all about basics of our first world. One more tip, if you want to have a green grass on your garden, you can go to your rectangular arena. You can go to appearance, click on delete. So you lost the texture of what it had. Now click on floor appearance. When you double click on this, you will see a window where if you go in appearance, you will see different textures. So you can have dry mud, you can have electric condenser. Here we also have something known as grass. So we will add grass here. And you see the look and feel of your world changes. Camera views of spot are also updated. So you can test your computer vision pipeline with different conditions. So this was all about 101 of VBOTS. If you like this video, do share. And if you are interested in many more projects of VBOT, we have an extensive VBOT series of around 20 videos and also we have implementation of vbots with ROS2 and ROS. So this was all about today's video. Thank you. Be safe. Enjoy.